สวัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหมคะ Hi all you guys welcome to Learn Thai by Ben Next week is the Songkran Festival in Thailand yeah! Well having fun as is a big part of Thai culture and having fun amidst a scorching heat is no exceptional especially in the hottest month of the year in April So Songkran in Thailand is officially observed between 13 and 15th of April, three-day national holiday. Although in reality, celebrations is often last entire week. And uh, Songkran is a traditional Thai New Year festival where people enjoy themselves by throwing water at each other. And in Sanskrit, the word Songkran, Songkran means to pass or um, move into and it is also indicates that the passage of uh, the fa the passings of the sun moon and other planets into a new zodiac orbit during sunkan most office buildings you know like banks as well as like family lunch shops and restaurants shut down completely and uh, while big shopping mall usually remain open so Bangkok experiences a mass exodus and as at least half of its residents travel back to their hometown for a family reunion, something like that. So in their place are tourists who fly into Bangkok particularly to enjoy one of the most colorful and festive time of the year. Contradictory to what uh, you may have witnessed throughout Songkran. For loving Thai, don't just throw water at each other for no good reasons. You know, just like besides having the kicked out of seeing other people soaking wet, right? The real meaning behind the scratches is to similarly wash away all, uh, you know, just like bad luck and, and misfortunes in the past year. So as to welcome to the new year with a fresh new start. What to do during Songkran Festival besides throwing water? Okay, so on the first day of Songkran, uh, 13 April, which is today to honor the the elderly and own custom we call Rot Nam Dam Hua. Okay, it takes place, and this ritual uh, involves young people pouring scented uh, water onto the pans of elders to show respect and ask for their blessing. And the second day of Songkran is uh, 14 April, so it's uh, dedicated to families and officially known as the National Family Day. So we call one crop krua hang cha. Okay. Families will get together and you know spend a quality time. A lot of people will travel back to their hometown to visit parents and relatives. And more religious Thai would engage themselves in Buddhist ceremony and you know just like merit making activities throughout the holidays and bathing the Buddha. Bathing the Buddha in Thai we say song nam pra. Okay. Is an essential ceremony where devout, you know, uh, Buddhists uh, will watch the statues of the Buddha at home or maybe just like at the temple with uh, fragrant water. So Songkran is also seen as a, a day for spring cleaning, and many Thai take this as opportunity to get their houses fixed and spent for the new year. Tips to purify or bath the Buddha. Water should not be poured directly onto the head of the relics, but actually rather on the other part of the statue torso instead. Okay? So, in many parts of Thailand, we also, um, the Rinsong Grand, we also like surveyed with the grand uh, precision beauty contest. You know, like Mi Songkran contest, is we call Te Pi Songkran, okay? Or maybe we just like to read with the food fairs and boat races, you know, boat races, cultural games, and firework display. Where to join the festival and tips during Songkran? 
Okay, in Bangkok, sacred uh, celebrations are held at Sanam Luang, opposite the Grand Palace. Here on the first day of Songkran, the Buddha image, or we call Puttasi Hing, well, is brought out from the National Museum and escorted along the street uh, for people to sprinkle water on. The image is then located there for three days, so people who miss the procession can pay their respect. And other merit making custom in Bangkok include the building of sand stupas, which are then decorated with colorful flags and flowers. So these can be seen around key temples in the Ratanagosin area. Okay, for Khao San Road and Serum Road are also the most popular places for both local and tourists to enjoy the water fights. Okay, the road is closed for the participants for three days. Okay, from 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 13 to 15 April to celebrate the party. Just make sure to use public transportation if you are heading to, you know, one of uh, Songkran hotspot as traffic will be paralyzed or maybe you just have to choose like a hotel or hostel or any place that is nearby so um, you know nearby your water battlefield because it's easier and much more convenient so if you know yourself well that you are going to play hard party harder until the late hours so it will be uh, the hardest thing to catch a bus or any public transportation at late night so during these couple days of from Songkran, all the taxi services will only ask for a fixed fare, okay? So no meter, okay? So even if just like for the motorcycle, cold taxi will charge you almost double price of what they actually receive in the same plan too. So and and be extra careful of pickpockets. And when you playing, uh, you know, at a large venue street like Sirom or maybe just like Sanyam, these guys will target mostly teens who enjoy playing too much and give zero care for their pockets. Okay, so for party lovers, especially in Bangkok, you will need to be at your decided place as early as uh, you can. Maybe just like before 5 p.m and just to get a table where you and your fellows or your friend will be stay at you know and many clubs in Thailand would turn themselves into splash and party areas so you're going to need a drinking table as your meeting base so so all your friends will know where to go back to trust me it's it's not fun you know just like to walk around and get packed up with the crown debt and want, wonder where you and your friends belong Okay, so I wish all you guys will not drive when you have been drinking too. Will not and will not throw water at the motorcyclist to prevent road uh, accident too. Okay, so just in case if you prefer a more traditional Songkran, you suppose to head over to Pra Pradang district. Okay, is this the um, where uh, the, the Thai ramen committees leave out their Songkran traditions. So here, the celebration takes place about a week later than in central Bangkok. So, and it is filled with like, you know, like, like cultural significance and you will not only get trapped here, but also enjoy in, uh, you know, like an array of cultural activities, like, you know, Thai ramen flag ceremony, Saba game, it is a local game, and uh, ramen dances and boat races, you know, flower, flows, parade, and many more. And what if you don't want to get soaking wet and just have to, you know, want to chill out or out somewhere quiet? Okay, there are only two options for you, okay? One is look for a quiet resort or maybe bankroll and stay there since you can't go out anywhere without getting a splash of water, right? Then two, go to a department store by a car because you have no choice of other public transportation, okay? That's this guy. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and share. Please stay tuned. I will you guys do smile and have fun during some grand festival. 
สวัสดีปีใหม่ค่ะ and